Uh, hi, I'm Kit. Um, this is my third uh, Spider, my fourth Boxster, and my 16th Porsche. Um, I knew I wanted a 981 Spider, and I finally found one. There's not that many of them out there, so I was glad to uh, have uh, have gotten one. But uh, yeah, I also have uh, Moise here, so I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey, everyone. I'm Moise. Um, I don't nearly have the car history that Kit has. Uh, this is my second Porsche. Um, I've been in this is my first Boxster, um, but I, I, I've always known I wanted a naturally aspirated um, manual Porsche. So both of them have been, and then this is my second one. So. A comparison of the 981 Spider to the 718 uh, Boxster GTS 4.0. On paper, the Boxster has uh, slightly more power, uh, 394 horsepower versus 375 for the Spider, but the Spider weighs a little bit less. Both have uh, stiffened Boxster uh, suspensions, uh, as in contrast to the 718 GT4, which has um, a more GT3-esque front suspension and more solid bits in the rear. The 981 Spider is a little lighter maybe about 100 to 150 pounds, depending on configuration, uh, and has a 3.8 liter motor from the Carrera S instead of the uh, four liter motor uh, in the 718 GTS. That motor is actually based on the three liter twin turbo motor from the Carrera S as well, although obviously a little bit different given the displacement. Both cars are fairly similar, similarly spec'd, uh, manual transmission, um, both have a, both have full leather. Um, the Spider in this case has uh, the carbon buckets, whereas the, uh, the GTS has the 18 ways. Both cars are set up with the same tires. They are Michelin Pilot 4S uh, in 235, 35, 20, and 265, 35, 20. Uh, and the wheels that they're on are exactly the same. 20 by 8 and a half, 20 by 10 and a half wheels. But first, let's take a look at the tops since they're the biggest difference. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay, same thing to lower the top. The 981 Spider's uh, 3.8 liter flat six has one of the best exhaust notes uh, I've heard. Uh, it's this generation of car is, is sounds really, really good. Um, 
It does, however, have a fairly lumpy uh, power curve. So there are peaks and valleys in the power curve that you can feel, especially on a small, short road like this. There's a little torque dip in the middle. It does, however, have a fairly lumpy uh, power curve. So there are peaks and valleys in the power curve that you can feel, especially on a small, short road like this. There's a little torque dip in the middle. And the power comes on a little bit uh, lumpy at times. These cars are more similar inside than they are uh, different. The 981 has uh, more integrated vents and the Sport Chrono Clock is uh, on the front of the dash. The PCM 3.1 is much lower resolution and does not include CarPlay by default. My car has the carbon buckets and contrast stitching, which I think are pretty nice in this car as alongside the uh, painted trim. But the 718 interior um, is probably a little nicer. It does include uh, more luxury features like the uh, Porsche entry and drive, which is keyless uh, ignition and um, door locking, um, a power steering column, and uh, seat memory, um, which means the uh, mirrors tilt down and all the uh, proper things like a uh, expensive German car should do. These cars do have this exactly the same wheels. And uh, the main exterior difference is the, um, the rear deck lid, which on the Spider has the cool looking speed humps um, and the more aggressive front end. But otherwise very, very similar cars. Yeah, definitely. Just drove down a bit of Highway 9 in the Boxster GTS 4 liter. Initial impressions are, uh, this car's good. Uh, the shift lever is a little bit longer. The clutch throw is shorter. The clutch is lighter. Uh, the I like the feeling of the clutch in this car a little better. It's definitely not as compelling from a sound perspective. While it doesn't sound bad, it's certainly not as uh, compelling as the 981. Uh, gearing feels the same. Uh, steering feels like it has a little bit of on-center vagueness compared to the 981. The, um, the Boxster Spider's uh, turn-in is a little bit better. Uh, this car has maybe better, slightly better damping or could be just newer shocks. Uh, it rolls a little bit more, but doesn't bounce around as much in corners. Oh yeah, I forgot that the 718 GTS 4.0 does have Porsche Active Suspension Management, or PASM, which is the adjustable damping. The 981 Spider has a fixed damping suspension, which makes it ride a little harsher. Uh, it's definitely balanced more towards understeer than the 981 Spider is. The Spider is uh, very neutral and will kick the tail out pretty easily. Whereas this car takes a little bit more effort to uh, slide around. Power wise, the uh, power curve in this car is definitely smoother. Uh, there's not the peaks and valleys of the 981. Uh, I think the throttle response of the 981 might be a little better, but not a huge dip delta. This car does rev out uh, better and uh, has a little more top end than the 981. Not a huge difference, but certainly there. Steering definitely feels slower on this car.
I feel like I'm having to turn the wheel a little bit more to get the same amount of uh, rotation as I was in the in the 981. And this car will slide. It just takes a little bit more to, to get it done. It's not as uh, tail happy when you drop the throttle and it's uh, the natural uh, balance is a little more towards uh, understeer. Yeah, the gearbox feels pretty much identical. The 718's gearbox might be a little smoother, uh, but the, the lever is longer, so it feels like a longer shift throw and not quite as direct. The brakes in the Spider feel a little more uh, grabby and a little more uh, positive. I didn't get any fade out of the 718, but uh, it didn't uh, inspire as much confidence as the uh, 981. Well, we're we're back from the drive, and yeah, let's uh, comment on the various things about the cars. So, um, first thing is sound, and and that goes to the ninety one. In my opinion, the nine eighty one Spider just sounds better. Uh, it's uh, more interesting, more harmonious. Uh, what do you think, Moise? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a that's a that's an easy win for the nine eighty one. Yeah, the 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 four. I think that the three point eight um has definitely like a higher pitched, a little bit more exotic whale. Um, I uh I guess the only kind of a little odd thing is is like the the cracks and burbles seem seemed a little artificial at times. Like there was like one time I was like accelerating near like six thousand RPM, and uh uh I let go of the throttle and um the burbles came like three seconds later i was like oh okay <laughs> uh that doesn't make any sense but cool um it, no but but for sure um yeah and and you know the four liter is definitely uh it, it's deeper it doesn't quite crescendo in the same way that that does i don't know if, if an aftermarket exhaust kind of fixes that i know you had the klein yeah on your so previous one i did have a 718 spider on uh previously that was pdk unfortunately but um yeah the uh it the client exhaust definitely made it sound better i i don't i don't know if it sounded as good as the 981 but it certainly closed the gap a decent amount <laughs> um okay uh acceleration wise i was i was sad to admit this because i thought the cars were going to be really similar but the 718 felt faster to me <laughs> yeah i i would agree i i um i think in the same way that the 981 sound crescendos so well from low to high RPM, I think the four liters power delivery has a much like more linear um, build up as you go into the higher RPMs. Uh, you know, when I um, when I was driving the 981, uh, it, it kind of felt like the RPMs were pretty. You know, the power delivery was pretty flat. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, it's noticeably. It, I think it was noticeably quicker in the seven eighteen. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the acceleration times uh, seem to favor the seven eighteen GTS by um, maybe a couple of tenths, and normally that's not enough for me to feel. Mm -hmm. And it might just be the shape of the power curve that the seven eighteen mm -hmm. has a smoother power curve. But yeah, I was I was a little sad to uh, feel that, and hoping some of the uh, many parts I have in the garage will close that gap. <laughs> and and the other interesting thing was I drove the your car on the downhill, so I expected that would kind of make up for that difference as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think it'll be interesting to see what your parts do. Yeah, um, ride quality wise, uh, certainly the adjustable suspension on the seven eighteen. Uh, I expected to help it ride better. And it did. <laughs> it did. It was definitely a more comfortable uh, and and probably more controlled ride. the the set the nine eight nine eighty one Spider gets a completely fixed damping suspension setup, so it feels good and it handles really well. It's a very sharp handling car and predictable, but it certainly didn't ride as well. There was uh, a lot less. Uh, there were, it was more jittery um, in the nine eighty one. Uh, the seven eighteen. Uh, dealt with bumps better uh, both in corner and out um i think the 981 had slightly sharper turn in um some of that's faster steering ratio but 
um yeah the ride quality definitely went to the uh 718 <laughs> yeah i i think on the smoother parts of nine i didn't feel a big difference i, I they felt very similar yep um but once you hit some of the little bumps and cracks in the road then you're like oh yeah this is definitely a little little more jit little little more jittery so yeah. Uh, and I think the the the, the pasm kind of takes the edge off of that. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I think this is the only boxer that you can that you can't opt. The nine eighty one spider is the, one of the only boxers you can't option an adjustable suspension on. <laughs> I guess that's how they made it lighter. Yeah, yeah. Um, handling wise, um, balance. Uh, the, I felt like the the seven eighteen GTS four O definitely understeered a bit more. It uh, the handling balance was different. Now it wasn't a totally understeery car. Like you could still slide the car around and hand, it it did everything you wanted to do. Uh, the ninety one is just particularly tail happy for a production car, and uh, it's re it's pretty easy to slide around. I don't know if you slid around uh, both cars, but the uh, the ninety one. Um, if you if you want to drift, I need one's definitely the way to go. Um, and uh, I felt like it, you know, it, it this the spider never understeers, um, probably to a fault. Yeah, I um, I, I don't think I pushed it as hard as you did, to be honest. But uh, but I think definitely like um, the steering turn in a little bit, a little bit sharper. Um, I think, uh, uh, yeah, and I think maybe just like the fixed suspension being a little bit stiffer in in most in most settings, uh, it kind of gives it a little bit of a flatter uh, feel through the corners, whereas the seven eighteen has just a tiny bit of roll, um, not enough to unbalance the car in any way, but um, but you can definitely feel a little bit of a difference between the two in that way. Yep. Yep. One of the other differences while we're talking about controls, you can probably actually see in the video is the uh, length of the shifter levers. The uh, the 981 Spider's uh, shift lever is a decent amount shorter. Uh, and you can actually see uh, in the video that it's it's shorter here, but um, it does feel shorter, more direct. It's a little harder to move. You've got to put a little more effort into it. Um, yeah, for, from my understanding, the, um, the shift linkage or the, the actual uh, shifter is the same as the GT4 and the Spider, at least the 718. I don't know about the 91. It, it, yours definitely feels a little notchier than, than mm -hmm. mine. Yep. Um, the, 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 the only difference being that the, that the actual lever itself is like an inch taller or something. Huh. <laughs> kind <laughs> of a weird, uh, weird difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, while we're talking about controls, uh, the other thing that was really obviously different between the cars, is the clutch pedal. The uh the seven eighteen had a had a much lighter uh clutch throw. Um and the the effort was lighter, um, but the uh the uh pedal stroke was actually shorter also. I mean I I I normally don't mind a heavier clutch, but I preferred the feel of seven eighteen clutch. Uh you I felt like you could shift it faster and that the nine eighty ones was just heavier and had a longer stroke, which was odd. <laughs> Yeah, no, totally agree. I mean, I don't know if um, if it has something to do with the changes that they made, like with the nine nine one dot twos and stuff. I I think a lot across the lineup. I think around twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen, their manuals just got a a bunch lighter. Uh, the clutches got a bunch lighter. Um, so I think they made some change kind of across the lineup, but uh. Yeah, it's 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 easy. I think it's it's lighter. It's um kind of easier to get used to. Uh, I I uh, I, I will I, I'll try not to embarrass you too much, but I did I do I do remember you uh, uh stalling right after getting back out of my car. <laughs> yep, yep. I I jumped back in my car and went to pull out and stall the car, leaving the gas station. I was like, <laughs> what the heck? Oh yeah, different clutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, um, and then. From the rest of the amenities point of view, I mean the 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 seven eighteen has everything uh, that you'd want out of a you know a typical German uh, German luxury car in terms of uh, uh, luxury stuff. You can get the uh, heated heated seats and the um, keyless go and 
um, a few things that are just not available on the spider, uh, including the, the power to the top, obviously. So earlier in the video, you saw the difference between the, uh, the soft tops in the cars and clearly the, um, the 718 GTS's top is way easier to use. Uh, you might argue the spider's top looks cooler and that might be the only reason the spider is, <laughs> it, it, uh, has the top of it is. So it looks so it looks cool, but um, from a amenities point of view, I mean, certainly the the seven eighteen GTS has uh, has more. Um, and I'm sure I missed a few things too. Yeah, yeah, I it's it's kind of uh, I guess it's it's a typical GT car the, the way that the Spider is set up, right? Whereas, um, yeah, I, I think the couple other things that I can think off the top of my head: blind spot monitors, electric adjusted steering, um, uh, memory seats couple other things maybe but um standard car play <laughs> then <laughs> standard yeah that's kind of interesting that on the newer ones you have you on the new on the 718 spiders at least you have to pay an additional 360 dollars or something for car play yeah. even though it's the same pcm yeah it was uh it definitely seemed like a uh a money grab there but uh yeah, it, it's it's interesting that uh, interior wise, also from the waist of the dashboard down, like pretty much everything is identical. Um, the uh, the nine eighty one gets the uh, cool fabric uh, door pull uh, door pulls that no one can figure out. You have to push out while you yank on the handle <laughs> to get the door open. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, uh, and then you know they to make the seven eighteen different, the upper dashboard is definitely different. You know the the vents and the uh, and the sport chrono placement are all different yeah I, I didn't think the the fabric handles were all that difficult i think i figured it out pretty easily but um uh but yeah i think probably looking at the video you'll, you'll see they're, they're pretty much identical from the two different angles yeah well this has been a fun comparison uh thanks for uh letting me drive your car hope you enjoyed driving the spider too and uh that I think uh, for each of us, it kind of reinforced uh, some of the decisions we've made. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Kit. Yeah. See ya.